why is it, or at least my observation, that marches and such today mean nothing to us? And they meant a lot then, so maybe the reverse of it is their question. Why did the, the fact that a group of black people walking down the street, or 100,000 black people showing up in Washington, D.C., or a group of veterans marching through Washington, uh, or young people uh, angry about the Vietnam War having such an impact on, on President Johnson later in the 60s, why did those events matter in a way that today they're largely irrelevant? That's a good question. I mean, uh, part of the answer lies in the movements. And so um, the, the movements of the 1960s were incredibly effective at coordinating what went on in Washington and what went on in the grassroots. A lot of these protests were about very specific things that I think was quite important. So Selma is about a voting rights bill that's already out there and they want to move it through. And I think that kind of focus and coordination made the movement uh, very powerful. You saw that on the anti-war movement and other kind of protests. At the time, you had leaders like King who were very shrewd and strategic and understood that what happened in Washington was, in the end, as important as what went on in the streets. He didn't see the two as disconnected. I think you can argue some movements, both on the left and the right, are more fragmented and disjointed and don't have a thing that they're pushing for. It's just protest. Uh, but in the end, that doesn't have as great effect on members of Congress. Part of it is about Washington. And so, uh, you know, if you have gerrymandered districts where uh, a member of Congress doesn't really care uh, what's going on in the streets somewhere else, uh, it's not going to have uh, as big effect. So that trend toward incumbency, which is around in the 60s but continues to accelerate, certainly dampens uh, part of it. And then finally, the media and how it's covered. Um, back then, it it's quite dramatic how when these protests took place, most of the media focused. It was a media where they could reach a broad part of America. So if you wanted to watch TV, you were going to see images of Selma. Today, if there's a march on the left or the right, you can watch TV and ignore what's going on in the news. You could watch on any channel, any device. Uh, and I think that fragmentation of the media often makes it harder for a movement to have that same kind of impact. Not as many people are watching. They're not paying attention. Uh, and that wasn't the case back then when there was just a much more limited number of outlets. Mm -hmm.